This is the ultimate battle royale tier list video. BRs have been around for over eight years now, and it's time to finally rank them up against each other. If you like content like this, make sure to follow for daily uploads. All right, side note, before we get into this list, just know that we're going to be rating these games when they were at their peak. A lot of these games are dead now, but used to be amazing, so it's only fair. For starters, we have F tier, Realm Royale. At its peak five years ago, this game was still completely garbage. It seemed like 100% a troll game. I was writing the BR hype train. Nothing more needs to be said, to be honest. CSGO Danger Zone. I don't even think anyone took this BR CSGO spinoff seriously. I'm not even sure whether it was actually worth mentioning or not, but it's terrible. Even though I love CSGO. D tier. Ring of Elysium. This game seemed to be more of a PUBG spinoff, with terrible graphics even for its time, and just generally mid gameplay. It didn't really spark anyone's attention in regards to playability. Overall, just a mid game. Spellbreak. Spellbreak was just a little too far out there for a lot of people. The insane magic mechanics and low poly design made it very indie, which didn't really suit a large audience, so at its peak it never really made any big waves. C tier. Super People. This game was definitely another PUBG spinoff. Off. I'm pretty sure it literally used an updated version of the exact same engine. At its peak though, it was relatively fun. The abilities in the game made for some good fights, but it never seemed to really make it out of the beta before falling off the map completely. Naraka Blade Point. This game never really had the publicity it deserved, to be honest. It brought very cool elements to the BR game type, definitely underrated, but it's just not everyone's taste. Again, it's more like an anime fighting BR than anything. Blood Hunt. Blood Hunt was very cool at one point. It was challenging, had some cool abilities, but there were just some weapons that were insanely broken compared to others, and it wasn't very diverse. At its peak, one main map and very few weapons to choose from. Hyperscape. At its peak, I can only put this one at C tier. It was extremely short-lived. A lot of people still don't even know what this game is. There was only one map. There were too many projectile nade weapons, to be honest. But the movement was the absolute best we've ever seen in a BR so far. It had the most potential out of any BR to date. If it continued, it could have easily been triple S tier. B tier. Warzone. We're not going to rate Warzone 2.0 because it's simply not peak Warzone. But OG Warzone was definitely really fun. It was free to play, so a lot of people got to enjoy the game. Had some great weapon skins, fluid movement mechanics, Overall, just a sturdy game to hop on and play with friends. It had no real competitive scene though, but it was still very fun to watch and play. A tier, Call of Duty Blackout. Easily the best Call of Duty BR to date. Great movement mechanics, cool weapon loadouts and gun skins. The only real downfall to this game was the developers, to be honest. Definitely at its peak, way better than current Warzone. Fortnite. You guys can hate on Fortnite all you want, but it literally brought all of you and your friends together to game. Anyone could play it. Mobile, Switch, PC, Xbox, PlayStation. It was crazy. It had the largest competitive prize pool to ever be seen in a BR. At its peak, easily one of the most fun BRs to date. Apex Legends. Apex has some of the coolest mechanics in gaming in general. At its peak, one of the most challenging BRs to actually get a win in. It was one of the first BRs to have a ranked playlist, and the legend abilities changed the entire game up. It brought a great element to the BR scene. It's still a solid game even to this day. PUBG. Player Unknown Battlegrounds at its peak was a spectacle. It's one of the OG battle royales. It definitely set the precedent for current BRs. People like Shroud and Dr. Disrespect really showed us how fun the game could be, and definitely showed us that there was a skill gap involved. And talent required. S tier. H1Z1. This was the godfather of BRs. It had voice over IP, which meant you could talk trash to anyone you came across, clean weapon mechanics, you could hop out of moving cars. It was very challenging. Had a thriving community. It just never really saw updates and ultimately fell off. But still, respectably, the champion of BRs. If you never played this game at its peak, you genuinely missed out on what the perfect BR should look like. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to follow for daily gaming uploads. Much love, goats.